this barber chair, I'm not sure of the exact date. I'm going to guess from the 50s or the 60s based on the color. Is the entire color is uh, this dark pink. Uh, it's in pretty good condition. There are a few areas, for example, uh, the seat has begun to dry rot and has begun to crack. Right there. There's some cracking on the lower seat right here. It, however, is pretty much intact. Some of the pieces are movable, such as the headrest. Uh, these armrests do move if this knob here is adjusted. Uh, maybe. I did have it moved earlier. Uh, most of the metal is in extremely good shape. There are a few components here, for example, where it started to rust and uh, there is a degree of roughness. Anywhere that this metal has begun to rust, there are pock marks. Uh, it just feels like sandpaper right here. Right here is another area. This piece here has uh, started to corrode. And there's another knob on the opposite side, which is identical to this one, which has also begun to corrode. Uh, the chair is removable. I mean, the seat is removable. I have no idea what these components are, uh, but uh, the, uh, the the mechanics of the chair seem to be in, I'm guessing, fairly decent condition. I see no real rust on the uh, chair itself, except for these minor areas, which I've already shown in the video. Uh, the power cord has some issues. Uh, this is the condition of the power cord when I acquired the chair. I'm not an electrician and I cannot... Uh, I would not know the first thing about getting this rewired myself in order to test it. So uh, the chair is being sold as is. Uh, the base itself is in excellent condition all the way around. I cannot find one nick or ding uh, this uh, this dental chair is sitting on what appears to be plastic foam and a cardboard box. Uh, this is how this is what I use to cushion the chair. The chair weighs so much, I'd say a couple hundred pounds, that uh, I had to have some way to cushion the chair because it almost dropped out of the uh, when we unloaded it from the pickup truck. I wanted some way to cushion it so it wouldn't just drop. Uh, three foot pedals in the back. Two of them are in excellent condition. One of them is uh, missing a uh, one of these black uh, pedals. And those all seem to work as well. Now for the... Uh, I'll give a, an idea of what the back looks like. Again, there's that uh, shiny base ring at the bottom. And again, the headrest assembly. Some of these knobs still move. All of them move, to my knowledge. This footrest, uh, it moves somewhat. I have not been able to figure out how to get it to uh, move any further than the motion that you see right there. And on this side, there's a few more, uh, uh, a few more foot pedals and knobs and other things down here. I'm not even going to begin to pretend to know that I know what any of these things do. Uh, not a clue whatsoever.
and here's this knob on this side. Uh, again, it appears to adjust the uh, the height of the armrest, and it has begun to corrode uh, considerably. And uh, the, the corrosion on this knob is in a similar state as the one on the other side. 